Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are going to unravel a fascinating problem, the night probability in chessboard. So, this problem is a medium level uh, problem, and uh, but our trusty Python by our side, we can concur it together. So, let me lay out the problem for you. We have a uh, night starting at n by n. Uh, chessboard and the knight has to make exactly p uh, moves. So uh, each time choosing one of eight uh, possible uh, moves uniformly, randomly. And our job, well, we have to calculate the probability that our brave knight will remain on the board after a key move. So if you have played chess, you know that uh, knight could make uh, eight possible moves, however, not all moves are safe. Some may lead to knight uh, falling off the board, so leading to its uh, untimely demise, so it cannot fall. So we want to avoid it, and hence we will calculate the safe probability. And our battlefield today will be Python. So I'm going to use a power of dynamic uh, programming uh, to solve this problem. Uh, dynamic programming is a powerful technique for solving optimization problems uh, by breaking them down into simpler sub-problems. Uh, this way we can avoid redundant computation and make our code more efficient. So firstly, uh, let's uh, yeah think how we can solve it. So we have a class solution and night uh, probability and in night probability we reserve uh, four parameters so the board size uh, n, the key uh, moves, and the initial row and initial column uh, position of our knight. And I will start by defining the knight possible moves and free the uh, dynamic programming uh, array, so dp with uh, i, uh, k, and j. So, uh, those will hold the probabilities of the knight being at a particular cell uh, jk. Uh, and after uh, e uh, moves. So next, we will set up our base case in dynamic uh, programming table. Uh, after zero steps, if the knight starts it on the board, it's still on the board, so the probability will be uh, one and now is the fun part. We will iterate over the uh, this DP table, and for each cell, calculate the probability of the knight landing uh, there from each of its possible previous position. And we take the average of these uh, probabilities as each move uh, is equally uh, likely. And finally, we will sum up uh, the probabilities of. Uh, all cells after the uh, key steps, and this will be our result. So let's try to uh, implement it. So move will be all possible moves. So one, two, two, one, minus one, two, two, minus one, minus one, minus two, minus two, minus one, minus. 1, minus 2, minus 2, 1. Okay, and dp will be 0 for in range of n, and 4 in range n, and 4 in range e plus 1. And dp 0 row column will be 1. And 4 step in range from 1 to key 1. For row in range n, for column in range n as well, and for uh, direction of column and row move uh, previous row previous column will be r minus uh, direction and direction of column. So if zero previous and n 
and zero uh, less than yeah uh, previous column uh, and so in this range of board dp step row column plus dp previous step previous row previous column divided by eight and total probability will be zero and four row in range of a board or C in range of N and total probability plus DP key RC. So we count probability. And finally, we return total probability. So uh, this is our implementation. So let's run it and see if it's working for a given Test case, uh, yeah, with night being placed here. So rows zero, column zero, uh, board uh, N3, key two. Okay, so yeah, it's working with uh, DB, so all good. And yeah, so let's run it also for unsynthesis cases to verify if it's working. Hopefully it will pass the time limit because I don't know. So, yep, we successfully uh, finished 54 day of daily coding challenge. And yeah, our implementation beat 21% with respect to runtime and 60% with respect to memory. So it's memory efficient and yep, uh, good working implementation. So for example, here is 200 milliseconds and we got 300 milliseconds but it's our first uh, ad hoc uh, implementation with ADP but yep all working so uh, really good so uh, perfect so this is how we solve the night journey with dynamic programming and uh, it can be a little tricky uh, to wrap your head around uh, initially, but with practice, you will be able to use it to solve a wide range uh, of uh, complex array problem. And remember, practice is a key. So I hope you enjoyed uh, solving this problem with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting coding adventure. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any question or thoughts about uh, this problem. I always enjoy reading your feedback and until next time, uh, keep coding, keep practicing, happy coding. See you next time.